Well, in tonight's Anchor Mom Report, whether your kids are already back in class or gearing up for back to school next week, the transition isn't always an easy one. But there are things you can do. And joining me now is Angela Chi, the founder of The Zen Mom, with some Zen tips to take the stress out of back to school. Thank you for being here. Oh, you're so now, welcome. I follow you on Twitter, and I saw some of these tips, and I loved them because they actually were practical and also things I hadn't thought of. And I've got a 13 and a 10 year old, so I thought I had some of this down. You start out with one of them that's kind of the no-brainer about getting back on the school schedule. We're going to actually put this up on the screen for you so you can mark them off yourself. What are your ideas of how to get them back on that schedule? I know. Well, it's such, a str it's, it's such an emotional but fun and can be stressful time. So getting them back on that schedule, experts always say start about a week before, kind of getting consistent meal times and consistent bedtimes. But we all know how hard that can be with summer. You just want to get those last days of summer in. So my son's been waking up fine. My daughter is like, a really late sleeper and shouldn't have to go to school but I have to take my son to school so you really need to set the alarm or figure out what type of child they are if you need to wake them up or set the alarm and just be consistent if they're not doing it right now you still have you know this yeah, weekend. Yeah and some kids really need that yeah. breather they want to be woken up early because they don't want to be shoved out the door right away. Talk about this morning routine chart you suggest. I love this this is um, take a look at this this is called um, the morning routine chart and it's visual so your kids probably don't need it but for toddlers that needs. <laughs> oh I have a middle schooler who needs this. <laughs> You don't have to yell at them anymore. Go to the bathroom, brush your teeth. You just point, right? And so this gives them a visual. And my son loves this because he loves lists. He loves charts. It's like a game. So in the morning, he kind of knows what to expect. And he's like, oh, what do I need to do next? And so if you need this, you can make one yourself, or you can go to zenmom.com, and I have a free printable. What about eliminating morning madness? Because uh, you say you should wake up before your children, which I work a <laughs> night shift, so that's hard for me. But I know that if I don't, it does create a lot of stress. Well, with the morning madness, it's sometimes it's inevitable. Some days things go according to plan, others say they completely fall apart. So don't be too hard on yourself. And we all know this, we do need to wake up earlier than our children, but some days it's not going to happen. But if you do, and have that zen time, whether it's five minutes, ten minutes, to get yourself ready, it really helps. Is that what you mean by creating a zen zone? Oh, no, but the zen zone. So you create zen space for yourself. Another thing you need to do is to get ready. But the zen zone is an area for your children to know where to get their stuff. So if it's downstairs, you know the backpack's there, the notes, the permission slips, whatever you need, so that if you're in a crunch, you go to that zone and then you go. Let's go to your third tip because pre-prepare snacks and lunch box, uh, lunch box options. I can't even get it out, let alone what do you mean by pre-prepare? Yeah, pre-prepare, like if you take a look at these snacks right here, you have snacks for the week, kind of pre-packaged. My daughter had fun with them oh, this morning. She put like little snacks, um, little stickers on them. And if you have them ready for the week, you kind of, they're ready to go. So after school, they're like, Mom, I'm hungry. You have, you point you the snack. You chuck them at them and you say, there you go. <laughs> but for my kids, they're toddlers. I actually hide them because otherwise my daughter will eat the whole thing. But if you have them pre-prepared for the week, you have them ready to go and it's easy and they're good for you too. Throw them in your purse and you can go. And you also say uh, make extra food and freeze it, which is always nice. Let's talk about clearing the clutter because the first week of school alone is like the federal government's budget. You get all this paperwork, it's so thick. So how do you take care of all these things? Well, with the clutter, you really just need to stay organized. But with the actual clutter that I find the most is artwork. That how they much, bring home how much, every you know, day. So you should clear out the stuff and you already precious, have. it's precious, so you can't throw it away. Yeah, so the artwork, let's say you have all this artwork. One of my contributors is a professional organizer, Straighten Up with Kristen. She has a great thing about making a memory box, an art like memory this. box. You take whatever box, if it's already decorated, or you take a plain one, like the one I have here, like a black one, and you can decorate it with their artwork. That way the kids can decide what they want to keep, what they want to throw away. It allows them a little independence. And there's also an app for that, so to speak. Yes, it's so great. So let's say you, you, it's full, and you're like, what do I do with all these? pictures. I love this app called Archive. It basically, you snap a picture on your phone and then you can tag it with the kid's name, the day, um, what date they took it, and then you press a button at the end of the year and then it publishes this beautiful book right here, which is... Oh, a, you get an art book. This is so yeah. cool. So I how many times that. have you say, I'm going to do this and load up all my pictures okay. and do that? And it's an app that does that. So that's archive.com or an oh, it's app, It's right on, your, on your phone and it's okay. so great. And create a visual family schedule. And I'm going to lump that in with your last tip. Designate an email just for your child's school, which I think is genius so all that information gets to you. Um, that family schedule, uh, color code it, you say, make a wall calendar, and it's in a universal spot for everyone to see it? Yeah, and that sounds obvious, but you really need to do what's right for you. So let's say you're very techie, so you'll want one of those apps on the phone that has the calendars where everyone can see. If you're just getting started with the tech, Google Calendar has a great calendar where you can color code things. So each kid can
can have a color code each activity That's great. that way it's clear I'm still sort of old school I like the family planners like I like to see it right. visually in the whole month and even me if you see right there they came out with this new calendar just for family so they have different columns for like each child what you're gonna have for dinner versus just the dates that's perfect well Angela Chi thank you so much for being here if you'd like to learn more because obviously we could talk about this forever it's a big challenge for everyone there is a link to the zenmom.com website on my anchor mom blog that's at fox5sandiego.com you can also follow me on Twitter at Kathleen Fox 5